if each strand from DNA acts as a template for the synthesis of new strand, the two double-stranded DNA thus produced would be identical to the parental DNA molecule. Because of this, the genetic implications of the structure of DNA become very clear. Francis Crick proposed the central dogma in molecular biology. The biosynthesis of protein is under direct control of DNA or RNA, where DNA is absent. Central dogma explains how protein synthesis is controlled by nucleic acid. The flow of information is one way, that is, from DNA. The information is transferred to RNA and from RNA to proteins. However, evidence has now been obtained where RNA can be used for the synthesis of DNA. Such RNA, in all probability, is a genetic RNA. But non-genetic RNA synthesized under the control of DNA may also give rise to DNA by reverse process. DNA transcription, RNA central dogma, translation, proteins. DNA transcription, RNA, translation, proteins. Reverse flow of transcriptional information. Packaging of DNA helix. The length of DNA double helix in a typical mammalian cell is calculated and is found to be 2.2 m, which is greater than the dimension of a typical nucleus. In prokaryotes, the DNA is held with same proteins in nucleoid. The DNA in nucleoid is organized in large loops held by proteins. In eukaryotes, there is a set of positive charged basic proteins called histones. A protein acquires charge depending upon the abundance of amino acids residue with charged side chains. Histones are rich in the basic amino acid residues like lysines and arginines. Both the amino acid residues carry positive charges in their side chains. Histones are organized to form a unit of eight molecules called as histone octomer. The negatively charged DNA is wrapped around the positively charged histone octomer to form a structure called nucleosome. A typical nucleosome contains 200 BP of DNA helix. Nucleosomes constitute the repeating unit of a structure in nucleus called chromatin thread like stained bodies seen in nucleus. The nucleosomes in chromatin are seen as beads on string structure under electron microscope. The beads on string structure in chromatin is packaged to form chromatin fibers that are further coiled and condensed at metaphase stage of cell division to form chromosomes. The packaging of chromatin at higher level requires additional set of proteins that collectively are referred to as non-histone chromosomal proteins, NHC. In a typical nucleus, some region of chromatin are loosely packed and stained slight and are referred to as euchromatin, the chromatin that is more densely packed and stains dark, are called as heterochromatin. Euchromatin is transcriptionally active chromatin, whereas heterochromatin is inactive. 